Hello guys, my name is Renato Filizola and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up a secure shell or SSH service in Ubuntu server. So I have two terminals here. My left terminal is my desktop and my the right terminal is actually my Ubuntu server. I'm going to log in to my Ubuntu. I'm going to enter my password and then I'm gonna log in as the administrator, which is root. Okay, I'm gonna clear the screen. Uh, the first thing I have to do is I have to check if my SSH service is uh, enabled or if it's running. So I can go slash etc slash init.t slash SSH space status. In the line that it says active, actually it's inactive or dead. So if the third line it says inactive or dead, that means that my service is not running. So how do I start my service? So I have to repeat the command. So instead using status, I have to do start. And it says starting SSH. I can check it again with the status command and now in the active line it says active and now instead that it shows running okay so how do I check my if the service is running how do I access from my desktop I can go SSH the username and the IP address of the server which is 192.168.0.55 and it's asking for a password and boom I'm logged into the server but if I used this command here that means that I'm using the default port for the SSH service which is port 22 in this exercise I will change the port from port 22 to port 7875. So I'm going to exit the server. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm back to my desktop, to my terminal. And I will change the configuration file for my SSH. So I need to add it slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config in the line that says port I have to remove this line the pound and I have to change the port number so the default port number is 22 and I'm gonna change to 22 from 22 to 78 75 I have to save my file but it's still running on port 22 because I have to change I have to restart the service so how do I know if the server is the service is running on port 22 I can go netstat dash a and t and I can filter using the command grab by 22 and it says here okay it's running it's listening but it's running on port 22 so now I have to restart the service slash etc slash init.t slash ssh and I have to go restart so with this command it will read again the configuration file restarting SSH and now I can check again the port 22 and it doesn't show anything because it's not running on port 22 anymore but if I filter to port that I have to the port that I have changed to using grab 7875 now it says it's listening on the port 7875 
So now I'm gonna go back to my terminal and I'm gonna try the command again and it says port 22 connection refused. But why is doing that? The default configuration, the default setup for the SSH uh, command, it looks for port 22. So if my port is 7875, I will need to say here, I need to specify here that I want to use the port with dash P 7875. And then my user at my IP address. So I'm gonna try again, and now it's asking for my password. I'm gonna enter my password, and boom, I'm logged to the server. I'm gonna change to the root user, and I'm logged to the server using a different port. So if you guys liked this video, please give us a thumb, give us a comment, and subscribe to our channel to receive the more new updates uh, for my channel. Thank you so much and take care guys.